Hey guys, this is Miss B. I am about to read you a book called A Germ's Journey. We are learning about how germs get around our house, get around our classroom, enter our bodies, and make us sick. Okay, here we go. A Germ's Journey. Okay, this is Rudy. And Rudy feels awful. He has a cold. Colds are caused by tiny creatures called germs. And right now, millions of germs are living inside of his body. Many types of germs can make you sick. Examples include bacteria, mold, fungi, and viruses. Colds are usually caused by viruses called the rhinoviruses. Ah, he is sick. Where do you think he's feeling sick at? Do you feel, you think he's feeling sick at home or at school? I think he's feeling sick at school because he's sitting in a school desk. The cold germs inside Rudy's nose are multiplying. They're running out of room and need a new home. Another nice warm nose would be perfect. And all the germs are talking. Pardon me. Crowded, isn't it? The germs tickle Rudy's nose and trigger a... Uh, excuse me. Let's blow out of this place. What do you think it's triggering? Do you think it's triggering a sneeze? I think so. Hello. In real life, germs are very small. They cannot be seen without a microscope, okay? And there is a microscope. And we've learned that, that we cannot see germs without a microscope. <gasps> they tickled his nose and called, caused a head choo! A sneeze. Yes, they did. Rudy for got to use a tissue. His cold germs fly across the room at more than a hundred miles per hour. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. I can fly! Whee! The best ride ever! Look at his germs talking. Yep. Uh-oh, look what happens. A few germs land on Ernie, but skin acts like a suit of armor and it protects against harms. The germs can't find a new home there. Healthy skin keeps germs out, but germs can sneak into the body through cuts, scrapes, or cracks in the skin. Most germs enter through a person's mouth or nose. Uh-oh, so when we tell you guys, keep things out of your mouth, there's a reason for that. Usually stuff has germs and we don't want it to get on you. There's the picture. Rudy's germs continue to fall on everything in the room, including Brenda's candy. Brenda can't see the germs and she's hungry. Are the germs gonna make her sick? I think we found a new place to party. That's what the, the germs are saying. Oh my goodness. Not today. Brenda peels off the wrapper and throws it away. The germs wind up in the trash and not in her mouth, okay? Because the germs landed on the wrapper. <gasps> Was it something we said? That germ was really hoping to get inside of its mouth. Germs that land on floors, desks, and tissues usually dry up quickly and die. But some germs can live on objects for several days. So listen, we don't want to dig through the trash. Eve is going to give an apple to her teacher. Apples are supposed to be a healthy snack, but this one might make Eve's teacher sick. An apple a day keeps the germies away. But wait, 
Eve's teacher washes her apple before she eats. The germs roll off and swirl down the drain. Soap kills germs and so do hand sanitizers and antiseptics such as rubbing alcohol. Hand washing is the best way to keep germs from spreading. So that teacher is doing a really smart thing in washing her apples, okay? So we need to make sure we wash our fruit. Some of Judy's, Rudy's germs land on the classroom computer. Uh-oh, look at that. When Chip touches the keyboard, the germs stick to his fingers. And how the germ is saying, type G-E-R-M. You're going to get a C-O-L-D cold. S-I-C-K spells sick. Oh no, Chip didn't wash his hands after using the computer. He touches the doorknob. He touches the pencil sharpener, his homework. He even touches the globe. Now France is contaminated with germs. Uh-oh, he's touching everything. <gasps> Yikes! Here comes Jared. He types at the keyboard Chip just used. The germs are on the move again. There are 400 times more germs on desk and computer keyboards than are on most toilet seats. Uh-oh. So our computer keyboard is germier than a toilet seat. Eh, gross. Jared rubs his eyes. That's bad. Hmm, this place might work. Then he bites his fingernails. That's even worse. Love the high ceiling. And now he picks his nose. Home sweet home, the germ says. Uh-oh. All those ways you can get germs in your, um, sick. That's why we tell you, don't pick your nose. Don't put your fingers, fingers in your mouth. Rudy's cold germs are now inside Jared's nose and they multiply really quick. Hey, hey, party, turn up the music. Ah! Soon the millions of germs will run out of room and they will spread to Jared's throat and lungs and Jared is going to have a terrible cold. Jared doesn't feel really sick yet but he can still spread germs, especially if he doesn't cover his mouth. Cough, cough, <coughs> yuck. Jared's germs fly throughout the bus. They land on Connor's backpack. They land on Skye's lunchbox. They land on empty seats in the bus driver's head. Britley yawns and the germs fly into her mouth. Uh-oh. I love to travel. Hello, goodbye, must fly. Eeks. The germs find new homes and they don't stop there. They travel to dance class, piano lessons and baseball games. They travel to restaurants and birthday parties and even to the movies. Tonight, Jared finds out he is leaving to visit his grandmother this weekend in Ohio. The germs that started with Rudy are now on a brand new adventure. There is no cure for the common cold. Could germs, cold germs will disappear on their own, usually in a week or two. So here's what happened. Okay, he's sick. His germs went on a candy wrapper and in the trash, which is the good thing. But then his germs went on an apple and they hand washed. So they stopped right there. But look at this, his germs were also on the computer board. But then if you remember, this little guy was biting his fingernails. And so then it went into his lungs. It got on the school bus, it went in the car. On the computer board, this little guy was touching books and doorknobs and pencil sharpeners and globes. So anybody that touched that got it. So now we can see how germs spread. And it's so important, guys, to wash your hands, not put your fingers in your mouth. When you blow your nose, 
do it in a tissue and throw the tissue away. Cover your <coughs> when you cough, okay? You guys have a great day and keep those germs away. Bye-bye.